Okay, let's take a breather on this one. Hard tempo, giving, sad, grabbing, most attempting, difficult, crushing game. Let's count to our pulsing brains, hit the delectable fan, and split us into rage and furry madness, body parts. This game is punishing, most rewarding, and delivering experience I went through for a long time. I can just say this, I feel so good that I just pummeled the devil into his arsenal box of evil, and ripping all the soul contracts into one makes me a proud gamer that I just beat this game. What is so great about this mindfulness, a slipping envelope of the best creative bosses I've seen in a long time, with various twists and forms. What a primarily care of getting your buns kicked into a slop of wreckage, but the game has the most prettiest art to date in a video game ever. Hands down, most original and being in a live cartoon is a bonus. Dragging all those bosses in the chains of complicating factors is advocated into supreme quality of being happy and salute all those that beat this wonderful game that will crush your deadly bones into riding flowing acid. The controls are just swell into non-invasive treatment of being right in your comfortable hands. Even if you're playing this game on Steam, great controlling the Cuphead and Mugman till coffee spills over the old school screen. Get gold coins and upgrade your daunting weapons into hungry assault destruction to the boss's faces. Find them and be a lucky bro with the heart spinning out of its croaking neck. Fly around in an old school shoot 'em up or a shmup base game formula with wacky boss patterns and original level design. If you like Contra, then zoom around in a dangling field and run and gun all over the central place. There's also little side missions to earn you some coins and severity problems that the other side characters have in their double world. The music is high pumping and velocity rate radar waves of great excellent sound quality. You can even hear a tap dancer tapping fast enough to summarize the music. Do you have what it takes to grenade slap the devil into his own existence? Then this game is a carrying support for your challenging souls. I love the voices, I love the mobility that this game has. There's nothing this game doesn't do right. It's a little short, but the 15 hours I put in this game should give you the exact measures of making you play it more, and the replayability is gifted. Everything is so creative and fun and very challenging like a game should have, and make you the hero with satisfying improvement. I give this game a 10.0, a 10.10 that deserves so much of it, just because the game that is challenging but possible to beat makes the game a home run or world record of low impact gamers into the best video game players in the platinum world. All I can say is, play this wonderful TikTok, my time is up, love the Burrito Master.